What is good, Smooth Nation? Here for another rant video about Sonic and Shadow, and I am pissed off. I'm pissed. Yeah, I earlier I made a video comparing Sonic and Shadow, and people they always say that Shadow's better than Sonic, which is not. But recently, as these videos, I keep watching more of these videos comparing Shadow and Sonic together, and everyone says Shadow is a more mature character with a tragic origin and all that. Like you, the o like Shadow is the only tragic hero. Yeah, Shadow is the only tragic hero in the Sonic universe. No, no, I want you to just say that with a straight face. Think about that for some for a second. Shadow is the most tragic hero. He watched his friend die. Sonic was a freaking orphan. Sonic didn't have any friends to begin with at the beginning. He had to teach himself super speed. And turned out later in life, in Sonic 3, yeah, uh, three games later that he's actually chosen. Shadow is a spoiled rich white kid. That's what Shadow is. Shadow is a spoiled brat who's mad at the world because Sven got hurt because he lost everything. That's what his character ultimately amounts to in an adventure. I'm so tired of people hyping up Shadow above Sonic. And this is another thing. This is another thing. Shadow just keeps repeating the same thing over and over. Every time we talk about, we bring up Shadow, you gotta go into Maria again. Gotta bring up the ultimate life form again. Can we do something else. That's why I like Sonic. Sonic ultimately is actually more mature than Shadow. When Shadow first pops up in Sonic Adventure 2, guess who's morally in the wrong? Shadow. Shadow's morally wrong. Shadow's just mad and wants to destroy the world because he lost a friend. And guess who had to convince him that he's wrong? Sonic. Sonic is actually the more mature hero. Sonic was actually more mature, had to show Shadow that he's in the wrong that whole time. And I'm so tired of people saying Sh uh, Shadow would destroy Sonic and fight. Shadow's just another powerhouse. He has a whole bunch of chaos powers. Sonic can also do chaos control. He's probably not as good at it as Shadow, but Sonic is so much more experienced as a hero. Comparing Shadow to Sonic in terms of fighters is like comparing a complete, uh, a talented rookie to a seasoned veteran MMA fighter with multiple championship belts. Sonic has more games. Sonic has more accomplishments than Shadow. That's why in Forces, everybody looks up to Sonic because who is the more seasoned veteran? Who has more accomplishments? Sonic does. Sonic has more accomplishments. Sonic has fought God after God after God after God after God after God after God. He's fought so many beings. Sonic has fought so many more people than Shadow. Shadow's just a powerhouse. In Sonic's eyes, that's why Sonic is never intimidated by Shadow. Because Sonic knows that Shadow's just another powerhouse. Just like Metal Sonic, just, like, just like Knuckles was, just another powerhouse. Yeah, Sonic has plenty of experience fighting powerhouses. Shadow gave him some trouble with the chaos powers, but once he learned, once Sonic learned chaos control, that gap closed quick. In fact, if you look in the original manual, in the manual script for Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic says that Shadow's bark is worse than his bite. So Shadow back then wasn't as tough as he thought he was. He's just a powerhouse with some chaos hacks. But Sonic got past. And let's talk about, because people say that Shadow has more depth than Sonic. And that Sonic doesn't change. Are you freaking serious? When you go back, and this is why I say so many Sonic fans are entitled spoiled rats. When you go back and watch the other Sonic games, Sonic has given plenty of motivation. Yeah, remember Sonic and the Black Knight, that freaking chick wanted to destroy the world so he could so she could stop death. And then Sonic had to talk her out of it and say that you shouldn't be afraid of death and stuff. Sonic isn't afraid of Shadow, because Sonic has stared death in the face so many times. Shadow is a spoiled rich kid. Talking about being the ultimate life form, that's just entitled. That's just entitled. That's why Shadow is a character made for edgy 12-year-olds, and 
that Shadow is a character that gets to the kid in you. The kid side of you, even if you're an adult, the kid side of you loves Shadow and just won't let it go. But some people take that too far and say that he's a, he has so much more depth as a character. Nope, he doesn't. Shadow in his first appearance is kind of a one though I want revenge. In Heroes, they brought him back. This is the problem with Shadow. They always gotta go into the origin again. It's like it's like uh, the Batman movies when they keep when they keep killing his parents again and again and again and again and again. You just gotta you gotta you always gotta watch his parents get shot again. That's Shadow. You always gotta go into backstory. In fact, when Shadow came back in Heroes, they had to give him memory loss just so they wouldn't go back into Maria. So his whole thing is trying to regain his memories. Okay, th this is Shadow's development in the game. I'm not gonna talk about other series maybe later on, but in the games. He wants revenge for Maria because his childhood friend got shot like you the only nigga. Like you the only nigga who's ever experienced trauma. Oh, watch out guys. Shadow, the only person in this whole series who's ever experienced trauma. Not like Silver, who came from a destroyed timeline. Silver barely interacted with anyone. Silver's whole world was destroyed. He was raised in an environment that was destroyed. Oh no, but you're more tragic than that, Shadow. You're more tragic than that. Not like Knuckles, who grew up on an island not knowing, on a floating island, not knowing his own people because his own people was wiped out. He was the last of his own time. Yeah, no, but you, Shadow, you're more, you are more tragic than any of that. Not like Tails, who's bullied his entire life for being a mutant freak. No, Shadow, but you're more tragic than that. You're more tragic than all of that. I'm so tired of these Shadow freaking fans. I'm so tired of these Shadow fans. What, what was I about to say? Let's, let's talk about 06. 06 probably have one of the best stories for Shadow. In 06, Shadow goes after uh, a villain named Mephilus, and Mephilus manipulates him and tells him that the world that you fight to protect is Shadow did learn his lesson from Sonic. And in fact, the whole series, Sonic is actually little growing Shadow. Sonic has to teach Shadow that his morals are wrong, that he's morally in the wrong in the original game. And that was Sonic Little Road Shadow in that game, morally. Back to 06, uh, probably the best depiction of, of, of Shadow. Actually, Shadow acts in third. Mephilus had to teach, Mephilus taught Shadow that, that the world's gonna betray you and stuff. So Shadow's left with this decision. Am I going to turn evil again? Should I turn evil again since the world's gonna betray me? And at the end of the day, Shadow says, no, I'm still gonna fight for what's right. Shadow made a mature decision, which he learned from Sonic. And people got confused at 06. Why isn't Shadow talking about Maria again? Why would you want him to repeat that same storyline? This is the problem with Shadow. Shadow is always stuck in the past, always, always freaking just, just romping and whining about Maria again. Always just whining about Maria again. Meanwhile, Sonic's going out and doing new stuff. Sonic was a freaking orphan. Sonic never had a family to begin with. He had to go out and find new friends and family. Now get over it. Get over it, Shadow. Shadow works for edgy 12 year olds. So tired of Shadow. And what else? What else? Enforce enforces Shadow actually created the villain. So people want to say, oh, Shadow was so much cooler. Shadow is the reason why Infinite exists. It's one thing to beat up some dude, some because he was a bad guy, but whatever. But you had to berate him and call him pathetic and all that stuff. Which is unnecessary. And like when Sonic talks smack, he talks smack with purpose. To get into your head and cause you to defeat. Shadow didn't need to do that. Shadow already beat infinite and still had to try to talk smack for no reason and shadow is the reason why infinite turned evil congrats shadow you created infinite and infinite later kicked your ass in the lore i mean he, they didn't show it in cutscene but they showed it in the lore and guess who had to come back from from prison who had to escape from prison and fight infinite in round two and win in a boss fight sonic did Sonic is the one little growing Shadow morally. Here's the thing. Shadow 
Although he is technically older than Sonic, he spent most of his life on the arc with Maria and Gerald Robotnik, not knowing much about the actual real world. And then he spent 50 years locked in a bunker in just cryogenic sleep, not interacting. Shadow has less life experience than Sonic. Sonic has more life experience than Shadow. Think about that. So many people say, so many people say that the Shadow is more powerful and this is such deeper character. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's like that at first glance. And then you realize slowly that, nah, Shadow is actually immature. So that's actually less mature than Sonic is. Because Sonic's moved past tragedy. Sonic has moved past tragedy and stuff. 06 is probably the best version of Shadow, story-wise. I think that Force's Shadow is a downgrade. Force's Shadow is a downgrade, morally. And then let's talk about uh, Sonic X Shadow Generations again. Sonic X Shadow Generations. Because Sega's fresh out of DS, they had to bring back all these old villains for Shadow the Fight again. Because Shadow can't move on from the past. He just can't do it. I mean, I guess he kind of sort of technically did. Why can't you just do new stuff like Sonic? Sonic's always doing new stuff. Also, Sonic's morality has been tested plenty of times. Remember playing Sonic Forces? It's not for Sonic Frontiers. S Sonic had, was literally freaking dying from that freaking cyber virus thing. And he had to keep fighting through the pain because he knew it was the right thing to do. Sonic is a matured hero. Mat it's, 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 Sonic is like a matured alpha. And trying to, this little rowing, this immature Sigma, even though, like, I, I, I'm not gonna go into Alpha Sigma thing right here, but Shadow is, although he's a Sigma, he's an immature Sigma. Not much life experience compared to Sonic. Sonic is the more mature person. Sonic is the more experienced warrior. And people say, oh, well, Sonic and Shadow has gone, have gone ban for ban in terms of speed many times. Uh, no, they haven't. Sonic and Shadow fought each other multiple times. They didn't race each other. That wasn't a race. That was a fight. With Sonic freaking 1. If you go to the hero's ending where Sonic blows up the Eclipse cannon. That's canon. That's canon in Sonic Adventure 2. Meaning Sonic canonically won that fight. Sonic, Sonic was able to counter the Chaos Control powers. So the only thing was left was fighting skill and other stats like that. And Sonic came out on top. People say that Sonic is a one no character doesn't change. Yes, he does. Yes, he freaking does. You just don't notice it because you don't care to read in between the lines. Sonic is the more mature hero here. Shadow is the immature one. The best version of Shadow was 06. Oh, 06 and Sonic X Shadow Generations is a pretty good Shadow. Shadow is still egotistical. Thinks to himself. Shadow's still the ultimate life form. Yeah. But at the same time, He's also focused mostly on saving the day. And he, like, oh, like, Sonic X Shadow Generation is a pretty okay Shadow. To, uh, I still like the 06 version of Shadow, because in, in 06, Shadow has completely moved past Maria entirely. Completely moved past, and is just doing different stuff. He's hanging out with Gun. I know that might sound contradictory, how Shadow is now working for Gun, and then Gun killed Maria. But that shows his depth and development. Shadow wants to be a hero, so how can he become a hero? Work for Gun, and it also makes up for trying to destroy the freaking world in his first appearance. So, yeah, 06, 06 Shadow is probably the best. Sonic X Shadow Generations, that version of Shadow was fine, because Shadow is still obsessed with Maria again, but he's willing to put it aside to do what's right and beat Black Doom. So I guess I can't complain that much. Sonic is the big bro here, morally speaking. It's like it's like comparing uh, comparing Goku and and Vegeta. Here's the thing: Vegeta, throughout the majority of the series, is in is morally wrong. Vegeta was morally wrong. Shadow is inspired by Vegeta. Vegeta was morally wrong throughout the majority of the series. Vegeta was a spoiled freaking rich kid who's entitled because he's a prince of Saiyans. Shadow. Is a spoiled rich kid because he's the ultimate life form, and that was promised him his whole life. And and, and 
<laughs> Star Land of Shadows, terrible freaking game. Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadows part alien now. The fuck? Yeah, yeah, because, you know, because when Shadow finally got his own game, they didn't want to have him do something new. They had to add to the backstory again. They had to go back to the backstory because, again, Shadow's always stuck in the past. So let's add this villain known as Black Doom and say he's part freaking alien. Now, Black Doom, he was an all right villain, but so freaking stupid. He's part alien, man. Move forward. That's the problem with Shadow's always stuck in the past. 06 Shadow is the best because he doesn't say anything about Maria. Doesn't say anything about Black Doom. Doesn't say anything about Dr. Gerald Robotnik because he's moved past it. And he's going straight forward into the future. Straight forward into the future fighting Mephilus. 06 Shadow was the best. Like, subscribe. Smooth Nation, you're dismissed. See you guys later. I'm just sick of Shadow, man. Sick of Shadow.